Fly Lady Diane here. Welcome back. This is day six of the Fly Lady's 31 Baby Steps. Remember, if you're just finding Fly Lady now or Fly Lady Premium um, and didn't start with day one, go back and do that. You're, you're not behind. Uh, you'll get through this program. It's 31 days. You can start at any time you like. It doesn't have to be started on the 31st of January. You can start it on the 17th of May, 20th of March. It's up to you. But if you have been following us the last few days, how are you getting on? Is your sink shiny? Are you keeping it clear? Have you put up a little sticky note to the rest of the family and to yourself to say, please keep this area clear? I've got Fly Lady here reminding me every day. And the other thing that we have been doing the last few days is making sure that we're dressed to shoes. So I've got my outfit on and I've got my shoes as you can see. Now, Yesterday I told you that we're also looking after ourselves for five minutes every day. So I've just been having my, my cup of tea and I'm excited to tell you about today's baby step because the last couple of days we've been working on small routines that are going to clear our head and make sure that we are ready to get to work. And today's baby step is going to help you to start to clear out the clutter that is in your house. So without further ado, and I've got the lovebirds in the background, and I'm trying to keep them quiet, but they're going crazy right now. Anyway, let's keep going. Here today, we're gonna to attack what is called a hot spot. Now, if you don't know what a hot spot is, here on the end of my kitchen counter, I've got this bread basket, and this becomes a dumping ground for things. Now. What we're going to do, you, now you may not have a hot spot in your kitchen, but chances are if you've got a kitchen island, you might have a hot spot there. How about your um, living room, <coughs> excuse me, on the coffee table, the sofa tables, you might have a hot spot brewing there. It's just a pile of things that need to go somewhere else, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to deal with them. And we're going to deal with them one item at a time. But the main thing for us to do is that when we are dealing with hot spots, let me just take you down again, we are going to set a timer. And remember, it doesn't have to be the fly lady's timer. It can be um, the timer on your telephone. But we are setting it for two minutes. All right. We're not doing more than that. All we're doing is going through a pile for two minutes, a hot spot. And... You will see that if you do this every day, and you might want to do it at the top of every hour, you know, at 8 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, just take two minutes and look at that hot spot. And I'm going to go through one with you now so that you can see what we, we do with the hot spot. You'll find that after a few days, those piles that are around your house, they, they will decrease and you will want to do more and the, your place will be feeling better. So... Let's go through it. So th this is my little hot spot here in my kitchen. And as you can see, I've got some um, dealy boppers that we used at New Year. That needs to go downstairs. All the Christmas decorations are away, but I should have... Uh, th there's always one, isn't there? You always find one Christmas decoration or one thing that needs to go away. So that is that. And then I've got uh, my Fly Lady pen and my post-it notes. They're going back in my kitchen drawer where I put those. I've got, you know, there's always something, what's that? That is a piece of my daughter's um, water bottle. She's got a fancy new water bottle and bamboo one. So that's going to go away. And do you see where you just set the timer and go through it? And most of these items, oops, that's one of mine. That's one of my necklaces, which needs to go back up to the bedroom. A couple of sweets, which are going to go into... My handbags, I've got a little uh, sweet treat when my blood sugar falls a bit. And the rest are papers that I have to deal with. So those are either going to be discussed with my husband, and I will put those beside my diary because we go through those, uh, through those once every day or every couple of days. Um, and the rest will be papers which are going to go down to, um, which are going to go into my office. Now... When you find things in your hot spot, whoop, sorry, almost dropped you. If you find things in your hot spot, 
uh, like bills and papers. Put them, just put them in, uh, if you have a basket, a bag, a box, and put them somewhere safe because we are going to start paying bills once a week. Um, we're going to deal with those, but right now all we're doing is we're going through each spot, hot spot in the house and we're dealing with it two minutes at a time. So make sure to set your timer and when the two minutes stops, the timer is telling you to stop and you go off and do something else. You can always come back to it later, but don't get caught up because you know what it's like um, as fly babies, we don't want to start anything and we never want to finish anything. The timer is going to keep you on track. The timer is going to be your best friend because it tells you when to start and it allows you to stop. So that way we're not hyper-focusing on things. We're getting things done in small, manageable chunks. Okay, so that's it for me today on day six. You are going to attack a hot spot in your home two minutes and it can be you know any hot spot that you like you probably have one beside your um beside your bed there could be a hot spot building up right beside your bed with newspapers you know just things that we put down and don't want to deal with we're just working on them for two minutes and see how much you're going to get done in two minutes you will be really surprised at how much you can get done when you are focused on the task. So that's it for me, Fly Lady Diane in Copenhagen. I'm going off to enjoy the rest of my cup of tea and I shall see you tomorrow for day seven. Let us know in the comments how you're getting on. Are you beginning to see changes? Are you keeping your sink shined? Does it feel good to be dressed to shoes? Let us know because we're all in this together. Okay, that's it for me and Live long and prosper. If you saw yesterday's video, I've changed to something a bit less Star Trek-y today. Okay, that's it for me. Over and out.